Hey friends, it's Aki Dearest. Now let me just begin this video by saying how grateful I am for every comment of love and support that you guys have given on every single video. I mean, just seeing the comments here right now, it's just... Sorry about that guys, let's uh, just start off from the beginning. Okay, so I just saw this series called Agretzko on Netflix. Okay, so I had no idea about this series coming out. I didn't see a damn word of it. All I saw was this character every so now and then on social media from people's profile pictures, kind of like here and there, but nobody was really talking about it. I, I think Twitter was just really quiet by this point. So this anime was just released worldwide on Netflix on April 20th. And this is an anime about a red panda named Agretzko who works at a boring desk job at the mercy of her boss that abuses an insult her day in and day out, and the only way she manages to express her frustrations is through... Needless to say, I guess you could say watching this felt like a more cutesy metal parody of The Office where Steve Carell already acts like a pig with his ego so far up his own ass, and everyone else is just sort of there at the mercy of his bullshit. You've been ex-punk! <laughs> Surprise! It's a joke! We were joking around! Now, despite all the characters being animals, the relatability of the show is almost so accurate that I am both crying and laughing on the inside. Like seriously, every character represents someone that you know in your work environment. You got the pushover, the laid back, the kiss ass, the friend zone, the gossip, the brain dead, it's all there. Every episode is 15 minutes of one beautifully wrapped package that is the office of Gretzko edition. And can we just say, this guy is my absolute mood. I really didn't know what to expect when watching this. I really thought it was just going to be a slice of life-esque anime about a red panda that maybe tries to find love. If anything, I thought it was gonna be a little bit like Puka. Does anyone remember that show? And you know, I gotta give credit to Sanrio for their new character because I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've seen them make a series going over controversial issues that happen in the real world, such as sexism, overworking, using marriage as an escape. I'm, I'm just saying. I would have never thought that my peeps over at Sanrio had the guts to display so much reality in such a cute looking cartoon. Like I'm waiting for them to sign over to Adult Swim anytime now. But you know, I guess Netflix was the better option here. Now after watching this, I had the sudden sensation that, you know what, I think not even myself, but all of you as well, can really relate to Retsuko on a very personal level here. And after watching all 10 episodes, I came to the realization that there's a little bit of Retsuko, the red panda, in all of us. Not only just in me, but for you as well. A lot of built up tension and a lot of frustration. Whether it's from your parents, whether it's from your teacher, your boss, a hate comment, or maybe two hate comments, maybe three or four, but you know what? You don't let it get to you. You're not funny, stop trying to be. What a freaking weave, she doesn't you even are do that on too. She's only known for doing that vocal or crap. Sorry, bitch. I hate your mama so much. <laughs> You just have to smile it off, laugh it off. It doesn't get to you, right? It doesn't get to you. It really doesn't get to me. I promise it doesn't get to me. And when it does, it doesn't. 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 You relax. Just close the door. Take a deep breath. Get out your microphone. And then, with all your might, just... <gasps> Squeeze a stress ball. It always helps. By the way, that reminds me, whoever made the Agretzko Netflix soundtrack on Spotify and came up with this playlist, props to you because you have really great taste in music. Now some of you guys on social media may have seen me say that I am now a fan of Agretzko, but to be a little bit more transparent with you guys, I am a fan of the character, the main character of Agretzko, Retzko, for just a few little reasons that are simple. The fact that she is this cute little character that can do death metal and that's it. That is the Sanrio formula. The whole anime is really just a marketing to say hey here's our new character and now you can see her in action as far as the story goes 
it was just kind of whatever with me. The ending was a little cute when you guys get to it. The message that they had to give was really, really cute, but it didn't overshadow the fact of how much I enjoyed every moment where she would go to a karaoke bar or she would just close the doors behind her, get her microphone out, and then just start screaming at the top of her lungs because death metal wins my heart. Now this is sort of a more nitpickier thing, but I prefer the English screams over the Japanese screams, <laughs> mainly because at least I can understand and hear what I'm reading. Uh, with the Japanese one, it didn't really seem like it was audible enough. Now you could blame that on the fact that it's death metal. I understand that perfectly. <laughs> This is a comedic anime and it just makes it more funnier if you understand what they're screaming because given the context of why they're screaming, it just, it makes it more humorous that you understand and you can hear what's being said. So I can't speak from fluent Japanese ears, it might be just as funny, but when I saw the English dub of the screams, I was laughing my ass off. This is just about the character. I like her and this is just me telling you guys, if you think she's funny, then definitely give this a shot. And also the fact that Netflix is really killing it on anime lately, their selection still isn't too big, but the few that they've released this year, special with Devilman Crybaby, Violet Evergarden, and now with this one, with a few kind of flops for me. Is that true? Are they really worth more than Disney? Because that's insane. So let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Do you guys like Agretzko? Have you seen it? And what do you guys think about Netflix and their growth on anime? So I appreciate you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel for more anime and otaku-related content, and I will see you guys in the next video.